geezer. Designer radiators and towel rail. This is a consumer information video exclusively about central heating towel rails. It will answer these seven questions to fully educate both domestic end users and tradesmen. We have separate videos for electric towel rails and for dual fuel towel rails, which run on both central heating and electric. So ensure you are watching the correct video. Hi, I'm Daniel, part of our knowledgeable sales team. Conversing in everything you see in this video and more. Hi, I'm Alex, director here at Giza. Central heating towel rails have become a staple component of the bathroom due to their dual functionality of heating the room and drying the towels. The basic ladder rail, so named as it resembles a set of ladders, is available in chrome or in white and is the entry level product. These are available in a straight profile or a curved profile which is a gentle curve, and the difference in overall projection between the two is just 5mm. In addition, we offer a vast range of more high-end heated towel rail designs. These are available in the staple colours, shiny chrome, perfect complementary colour for bathrooms, white, crisp, clean, clinical and light enhancing, black, strong, bold and powerful. However, we specialise in colour here at Giza, so we can offer a more exclusive range of colours and finishes, such as cream, a delicate warm tone becoming a popular alternative to white, mocha, neutral earth tone which is very complementary to lots of common tile colours, brushed stainless, a natural metal in a soft satin matte finish, polished stainless, mirror finished metal with a softer hue than chrome, gun metal, dark grey, a perfect alternative to chrome, brass, a warm metal finish with a subtle brushed effect, and copper, a further metallic finish perfect for an alternative or inspiring bathroom. We are one of the very few elite designer radiator companies with such a wide colour offering. Some colours are carried in stock and some are a special order item with a short lead time. So now, let's answer some specific questions you may have about central heating towel rails. How do I calculate the required heat output? Firstly, we recommend using the highly advanced heat requirement calculator found on our website, geezer.co.uk. This uses the very latest user interface with slider bars. Simply select Central Heating from the drop-down at the top. You will then answer a series of questions about wall types and window areas, etc. You can enter the room in dimensions in either feet or meters, dependent on your preference. It will then give you the results in both BTUs and in watts. Secondly, if you are straight replacing a radiator with a towel rail, you could use your existing radiator to work out what heat you need. In this case, we have charts on our website which tell you the approximate output of the typical panel radiator you may have in your bathroom. Remember, if your room isn't quite warm enough, increase the output of the panel radiator for the new towel rail. Do towel rails give out less heat than radiators? And what aspects determine the output? There is a common misconception that a towel rail gives out less heat than a radiator. Heat is heat, so if a radiator is listed as 6,000 BTUs and a heated towel rail is listed as 6,000 BTUs, the heat output given is exactly the same. The factor which can affect a towel rail's ability to output heat is whether it's fully loaded up with lots of towels. The towels will absorb the heat before it reaches your room, so be mindful to go for a slightly higher heat output rail if you plan to store lots of towels on there. We suggest 15 to 20% higher. Another solution we offer for storing towels and maximising heat output are radiators available with a separate towel bar accessory. These allow you to store your towels in front of the radiator, as seen here, instead of directly covering the heat source with the towel. There are two further physical factors of a towel rail which can affect its heat output. Firstly, the diameter of the horizontal bars is directly linked to the heat output. For any steel-based towel rails, the larger the diameter of the horizontal bar, the higher the volumetric capacity is to hold more water, so the higher the heat output. Logical. Cheaper budget rails are manufactured with very skinny 19mm horizontal bars, and as such don't offer very good heat output as they won't hold a lot of water. We don't sell these here at Giza. All the ladder rails we sell are manufactured with larger 22mm horizontal bars, which look more substantial and provide a better heat output. For aluminium based towel rails like the ones that you see here, Tube diameter is not as closely linked to heat output, as naturally these hold a lot less water than the steel equivalent. Also, the fact aluminium towel rails hold less water means they're more energy efficient as they require less demand from the boiler, so you'll have lower energy bills. 
The second factor which can affect heat output is whether the tile rail is painted in shiny chrome or whether it's a standard painted finish. In the UK bathrooms, chrome tile rails are more popular than anywhere else in the world. A shiny chrome tile rail will give out slightly less heat compared with a like-for-like -like model in a painted or natural metal finish. This is a painted heated tile rail, giving out 3000 BTUs of heat. This is the same size heated tile rail, but in shiny chrome. As you can see, this gives out 2300 BTUs. Shiny chrome insulates, meaning it will emit approximately 20% less heat compared with a like-for-like -like painted model. Think about why you wrap tinfoil around a baked potato in the oven to keep the heat within. Well, a chrome tile rail adopts the same principle. The chrome plating process is expensive, so chrome tile rails cost more and give out less heat. So think about this when choosing. We offer a wide range of grey painted finishes you could consider instead. What's the difference between BTUs and watts? This simply refers to the two different ways you can specify heat output. BTU is an acronym which stands for British Thermal Units, and as such this is a measurement typically only used in the British Isles. One BTU is the amount of energy needed to heat one pound of water to one degree Fahrenheit, so this is why the BTU's figure is always up in the thousands. It will take a lot more than one pound of water at one degree to heat your whole room. Watts is just another way of listing outputs like centimetres versus inches. The rest of mainland Europe only uses watts as the measurement for heat. The equivalent watts output will always be much lower than the BTU's figure. It's very easy to convert BTU's to watts or vice versa. BTU's equals watts multiplied by 3.41. Watts equals BTU's divided by 3.41. What does delta mean in relation to BTU's? You may notice that next to our BTU heat outputs, it states delta T60. This term simply refers to the conditions under which the heat output was tested in the lab. To put this in context, the output of this tile rail could be listed in three different deltas. At delta T30, which is used for low surface temperature systems or LST, and are commonly found in care homes or children's nurseries due to its safety properties, it gives 2160 BTUs. At delta T50, which is common across mainland Europe, it gives 4196 BTUs. At delta T60, which is commonplace in Britain, as used by Giza, it gives 5,305 BTUs. So the potential heat this tile rail can give is the same, but see how the different delta used affects the listed outputs. Let me explain the process for testing heat output. This will help you understand where the delta bit comes from. The labs used for testing heat output on all of our products are all compliant with European EN 442 regulations. This stipulates the conditions for testing heat output. The radiator should have a flow inward water temperature of 75 degrees Celsius and a return outward temperature of 65. This makes the average water temperature inside 70. This test has to be done in a lab with a consistent air temperature of 20. If we minus the air temperature of 20 off the internal temperature of 70, the differential is 50, or a delta T of 50, hence delta T50. The resultant outputs from these tests, as listed on our radiators, have been converted to delta T60 for the purposes of the British market. Our heat requirement calculator works in T60, so it is perfectly matched to our radiators. When comparing radiators from different suppliers, be mindful that you are comparing like for like in the same delta output. If the delta isn't specified like it is on all of our products, you should ask the supplier what delta figure is used for a fair comparison. On our website, you'll find the calculations converting between different deltas. So now you understand delta, what it means, and how to fairly compare radiators from different suppliers. How easy is it to install a heated towel rail? We shall show you installation demos of two different heated towel rails in this section. One, a typical panel radiator being replaced with a towel rail. Two, an old towel rail on the wall being replaced with a more traditional floor standing towel warmer, rerouting its pipework up through the floor. So, for the first one we're going to see this typical panel radiator coming out and a heated towel rail going in. Your plumber will drain off the old one, allowing him to fully remove it from the system. Lots of new homes are fitted with this flexi pipe system, with two plastic pipes coming out of a plastic box on the wall, making it very easy to replace radiators. This is the new rail being installed. It has closed gaps which will effectively conceal the white plastic box on the wall behind it. Remember. If you go for a very open gap design like this, you may be able to see the box behind once fitted, or any holes left in the tiles the old radiator left behind. So think about these little factors when choosing. 
a good plumber will have the latest equipment such as laser spirit levels for ensuring the towel rail is straight. The vast majority of geezer heated towel rails are supplied with adjustable brackets making the installation process easy taking into account small adjustments. The existing pipes can now be cut to the desired length and your plumber can connect the pipework to the valve body. The valves are now fully assembled with the TRB head. The upper bleed valve and blank plug are now screwed into place and now the towel rail is cleaned off ready for filling and switching on. This towel rail has an open side design making it very easy to slide the towels on and off. Let's hear what the customer and plumber both think. Our new towel rail has really transformed the downstairs bathroom. Before we had the cheap white basic one that came with the new house. Now this, the fact that I can take the towels on and off easily, the curved element, make it a really nice focal point for the downstairs loo. Giza towel rails are well made, meaning for me as the installer, the job is more straightforward working with professional, well manufactured products. The chrome towel rail matches the chrome edging on the tiles and the bathroom simply looks more high end. In this second example, this repair installation is a little more complex. This customer has a standard ladder rail on the wall, but as the customer's preferred interior styling is more shabby chic French boutique, they would like a more traditional tower warmer, like this. It is seated on the floor instead, a popular style in the UK. In addition, this old tower rail has been on the wall for a very long time, with a lack of rust inhibitor in the system, so it's been left to rust as seen here. The plumber has peeled back the flooring to mark out where the new pipes need to be. Now the floor can be taken up to reveal the pipework below. Once fully drained down and disconnected, the old dilapidated towel rail is removed. The pipework now needs rerouting from the wall so it comes up through the floor. The newly formed pipework is now soldered to ensure it's watertight before the central heating is switched back on. Now the plumber will use geezer chrome extension pipes and collars to bring the pipework up through the floor. These chrome plated pipes solder onto the copper pipe beneath the floor or behind the wall. Then once the floor or wall tiles go on, all you will see is nice chrome pipework on show with matching colours. Now the floor is back down in the bathroom and we have pipes coming up through the floor, on go the collars. Now the new towel warmer is placed into position. The pipes can be measured and cut down to the desired length and fitted with traditional crosshead valves to enhance the look. Here is the finished result, a stunning transformation meeting the interior styling choices of the customer. So this is a slightly more complicated install due to the fact that the pipes come up through the floor. With a traditional rail, it always looks better if you can do that because it's in keeping with the style. Don't be put off by this if you have pipe centers that are different to the radiator that you want or they're coming out through the wall. Just seek the advice of a professional who will be able to advise you if it's possible and the extent of work required to uh, complete the task. So, aim for excellence in your home and get the style of heated towel rail that suits you. Liaise with your plumber to ensure you get the finished look you desire. Remember, we're always on hand here at Giza to advise. What tests do the towel rails undergo to ensure quality? All of our heated towel rails are thoroughly tested in production for any potential leaks. Firstly, they are filled with pressurised air, then submerged into a bath of water. So any leaks will be easily identifiable by eye through bubbles coming up through the bath. This product has passed the test and is good to go. All of our appointed manufacturing plants around the world are required to undergo these tests, meaning leaks are kept to an absolute minimum. Little details in manufacturing can be the most important. A high quality towel rail such as this one will involve precision, neat welding. A stringent process will ensure that once the weld fuses in the oven, the rail is much less likely to develop a pinhole leak during its life in your home. What accessories do you offer for heated towel rails? Typically towel rails are always visible from above, hence you always tend to see them from this angle. Some customers don't like seeing the non-colour matching little bleed and blank plugs on show. So based on this feedback, we've introduced cover caps to conceal these. They can be easily placed over the top of the bleed and blank to make them less noticeable. We offer these in a variety of colours to match your chosen rail. Some models we offer are supplied with these and for some models you will need to purchase them separately. We hope you have found this as part of our series of technical videos useful. Hopefully now you are much better informed about purchasing and using a heated towel rail for your central heating system. Thank you for watching. Geezer Radiators, a hot spring of designer heating ideas.